Illinois uh, brothers will suddenly turn the relationship into a situation of a violent confrontation. The National Union of Petroleum and National Gas Workers, Nupeng, and the Petroleum and Nation, Nation, Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasin, have suspended their impending strike action. The president of Pengasin, Mr. Babatunde Ogun, said the strike action by workers in the oil and gas sector planned to begin on January the 1st, 2014, was suspended to allow the workers attend a meeting with the federal government on January the 7th. The meeting between the federal government and oil workers is aimed at averting the nationwide strike. In this next report, we look at what different fuel stations and customers were doing in anticipation of the strike. Contrary to rumors of panic buying of fuel due to scarcity, Activities at petrol stations are going on normal. A visit to stations in Abuja, the federal capital territory, shows availability of fuel, which is said to be enough to last the festive season. Well, for we, I don't know others. For we, I don't think we have any problem because we still have enough product. But I just feel that they should not go on strike. That is the truth about it. For me, I don't have any, we don't, have, we don't see anything panic. That is the truth about it because we had enough. We had enough. Like, uh, this is our own station. Just like a research information you are offered to us. There's, there was not like uh, information like that, that either there's going to be very scarcity or not here. Because the stock we have here is, is enough. We have enough stock here. It's terrible. We, they always have this um, strike every end of the year. Every December we're here, they're going for strike. To me, it doesn't really make sense because masses are suffering. Because people that travel now, they are coming back. On their way back, they will have a lot of uh, maybe transport hiking and all that. So I don't think it's, um, it's a good one this time. It was the same scenario in Lagos. No sign of fuel scarcity and panic buying at the petrol stations visited. The station here is normal. There's nothing, there's nothing like a panic in Lagos here. Although about three days ago, we have rushing due to people are traveling for Christmas. But now, this is normal. We are getting supply every day, every day. You can see another, another truck coming in now. That's another supply. Also in Abiyakuta, the Ogun State Capital, filling stations monitored were dispersing fuel to customers without any queues at the same rate of 97 naira per liter. The first situation is okay. The, the traffic is liked. You know, there are, there are, there's no more, there's not much vehicles here. We have just these two vehicles. I've, I've been here in the, in the last few, five minutes. I, I'm sure before I spend 10 minutes here, I'll be able to purchase my fuel and go away from here. We are still seeing the fuel to buy. There's no queue presently. Uh, all the filling stations are still, uh, people are still patronizing them and they are getting the fuel at the control price. While it appears all is well, Nigerians are hoping that the tempo is sustained by the authorities to ensure availability of petroleum products even in the face of threat of industrial action by oil workers. Kelvin Obatin, Channels Television News. We're going to break now when News Track returns. Our review of major activities during the year 2013 continues, and this time we'll focus on the National Assembly. So stay with us. 2013 is winding down, and that is not without top issues, both positive and negative. From Friday, December the 27th, our correspondents will begin a review of the different sectors, from security matters to politics, aviation, economy, sports, health, foreign affairs, and more. Join us every day on our flagship bulletin, The News at 10. From December the 27th to January 2014, 2013, winding down here on Channel's Television. If you want to know what's trending or you miss your favorite live shows, you can watch it all on our YouTube channel. Simply log on to www.youtube.com forward slash channels web. Scroll down to your favorite program and click play. You can also view all uploaded videos by clicking on view all. Don't forget to subscribe and get the latest videos. If they are interesting, like them and be heard. Get connected with the channel's television YouTube page. The news at your fingertips. 
Welcome back. All our top stories and other programs are on our website. It's channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. To get us on the go, visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. And you can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. There's something else you can do. Interact with the Channels iWitness feature on our Android and Windows 8 platforms. If you have a picture or video to share with us, tap on the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share your report, pictures and videos. The history of Nigeria cannot be said to be complete without the mention of Cross River State, considering the role it played about 47 years ago during the three-year civil war. On our special report, we take a trip to Usara Hills, where the first bullet that signaled the beginning of the Civil War, war was fired. And the people believe their community has enough history to be a world-class tourist attraction in the region. Gakian community in Bekwara local government area is a border town between Cross River and Binri State. Approximately six hours by road from Calabar, it has a population of about 30,000 people. Why did you say people that? have lights in this community. In 1967, this hill was occupied by the Biafran forces during the Civil War. And on July 6 that year, something significant happened on the Ushara Hills. Exactly on the 6th of July, 1967, the first gunshot was fired there. Following the disagreement between Nigeria and Biafra, that's where Biafra soldiers camped, and the Nigerian soldiers came from Benue, stayed somewhere there, started the place, fired the first gunshot to declare the war. The soldiers from the eastern region have survived on this stream and this well. And today, both remain the only sources of drinking water to the community. You know, for their security, for their safetyness, so that they will not be poisoned. They dug this well and the stream they have over there went to. So they use it in drinking, personally for themselves. But immediately the Nigerian army came and drove them out of this place. The well was abandoned and that is why the community are still using it up to now. The war may have ended and the victims forgotten, but the community is still counting its losses. After the civil war, they won't make a mention of a, a reconstruction and rehabilitation. Uh, nothing was given to us. Uh, most of our people here are in the north because they have no accommodation. Many houses were destroyed, so some of them now know where to squat. They are in the north doing some other businesses. So they are supposed to rehabilitate this place, this community. It's a point, uh, entry point to cross the river. The people are appealing to the federal government for development to serve as compensation. Our fathers who were farming in this mountain ran away from it. If the government will see reasons with us and come to develop this place, I think it will be like compensation to our side. And bringing our boys or our children who are coming before after us to know that this is where the war started, I think it's going to be something reasonable. They also want their community transformed into a tourist attraction for posterity's sake. At least we want that they, they make the place a tourism attraction. They build some, uh, what do you call them, war monuments in the place for people to know that. Why people come from very many places to know the place and when they come they don't feel the impact so much. On the local government's part, a little has been done. What we're trying to do is to develop this uh, central market called Obidi. We want to develop that place. A central market is made in modern markets. There are some dispersed traders of Igbo stock in Kano, some in South Africa. So we're trying to plant 500 units of houses. When these houses are mature, we can go fishing for these traders. That is a valuable place for the quarter that I can again. Successive governments have made such promises, but what remains to be seen is the translation of those words into actions. This, if accomplished, will surely give Gakam community of Cross River State a sense of belonging. We continue our focus on the 
at the uh, end of year report with our focus on the National Assembly. How has the National Assembly contributed to the